It was 1881, and in the great port city of New Orleans, construction of the U.S. Custom House was complete. More than 30 years had passed since citizens had gathered to celebrate the laying of the cornerstone. The partly completed building had survived a civil war and occupation by two armies, even serving as a prison, but construction proceeded under a series of architects. This building has a very simple style of architecture and exterior. It has details of Greek Revival and Egyptian Revival architecture. Inside, however, the Marble Hall, one of the most important Greek Revival interiors in the country. The Custom House served the United States for 150 years. But then, Hurricane Katrina struck. The solid building withstood the winds. However, it was not spared disaster. The roof collapsed, and as a result, the building was unoccupiable uh, following the hurricane. The GSA, Center for Historic Buildings, and the Office of Communications and Marketing are documenting the effort to restore this national historic landmark. In 2011, the film will take you through the history of the Custom House, built for the South's largest city. I, I feel like the Custom House is a treasure. It's a stately building. It's a very sound and majestic building. Uh, when you're walking up Canal Street and you see this building, it shows the authority of the United States government. So I, I guess in a way you could say that uh, the city of New Orleans was built around the Custom House.